Rochois were on the back of two cruel defeats against Marseille and Saint-Étienne. Twice Jean-Louis Garcia's men had been in winning positions before losing late on in the match. They were, however, in good form and now had the opportunity to get a crucial win against Caen, who were also threatened by relegation. Patrice Garon's men were on the back of two draws and hadn't won for over a month and a half. History was also on the visitors' side. Trois had never beaten Caen in the championship. And that record looks set to continue as early on the visitors through Ivan Santini led after just four minutes. A brilliant header. Trois responded with Nyan heading on the post. Remy Verkut shaken in his own box, which was a sign of things to come as the car goalkeeper didn't deal with the ball and then put it in the back of his own net. Desperately unlucky. Benjamin Nive then gave the home side the advantage. The veteran who hadn't scored all season, but who now has two in his last three matches. And it's a good flick at the front post. Trois, who went in at half-time, 2-1 up after the worst possible start. Jean-Louis Garcia's men playing good football in the last couple of weeks, which they showed time and time again in this match as well. Ronnie Rodler then blasted over. Can't trying to find a foothold back into the match. Of course, Garon's men still threatened by relegation. But then the match was all over when South Korea's Souk put the ball in the back of the net with a phenomenal finish. Mesmerizing strike by the Korean. It's a good control and then a second touch is in the back of the net. And brings it down well. Good speed and under pressure from the defender, manages to get Trois' third goal of the afternoon. Trois, who needed a victory, and Jean-Louis Garcia's players delivered. They keep pace with Lille and close the gap with Toulouse, who are not threatened by a playoff match against the promoted Ligue 2 team.